Just trying to get to you in time Well you're supposed to be right here with me Life goes by fast when it slow down We got older, where did it go now? Back in time when all we had was you and me These memories my name is Emmy and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see today I'm not sitting on my sofa back at home and I'm here in beautiful Sri Lanka with my boyfriend Chen. If you want to watch my travel vlogs, they're right up here. Is it here or here? I don't know what it is. And this morning I'll be doing a 10 minute standing app workout with you guys because a lot of you have requested one and Many of you want to work on your F, but sometimes depending on where you are, you might not want to get that on the floor. So here you go this workout. Every time I do it, I actually feel the most sore and the most burn on the side of my waist, my obliques right here. You disturbed me. <laughs> I had this AC. You shouldn't sit below the AC. <laughs> but no pain, no gain. If you want to work on having a smaller waist, then you have to put in the work. Remember to be mindful to really engage your abs and to really crunch them up throughout the whole workout so we're really training the ab muscles. So if you're ready, let's go! Because we're traveling and we didn't bring our big tripod, so this is a setup in the room. First the coffee table, then the chair, then my laptop, then my book and my schedule book. And then the small tripod with the camera. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. All right, guys. Let's start with a good old jumping jacks to warm up the full body and get the blood flowing to your muscles and get your heart rate up. So it facilitates the fat burning process for the rest of your workout. Exercise. Start with standing position. Feet together. Arms by your side. Jump with your feet apart and at the same time bring your arms above your head. Quickly hop your feet back together and lower your arms back to your side. This is one rep. Continue for 45 seconds. You can jump up higher and also faster to increase the intensity. These should be getting your heart pounding and your breath quicker. You might be sweating a little bit too. Good start guys. Standing side twist crunch. We'll be working on the left side first. Exercise. Standing with feet shoulder width apart, fingers lace and place your hands behind your head. Then crunch your abs as you raise your left knee up and twist your upper body to the left as if you're trying to touch your right elbow with your left knee. This is one rep. Repeat on the same side for 45 seconds. Be mindful to work on your side abs on the left and really crunch them up every time you twist and bend your body. You should be feeling a slight burn. We're doing the same exercise but on the right side so that we're training both sides of the abs. Exercise. This time crunch your abs as you raise your right knee up and twist your upper body to the right as if you're trying to touch your left elbow with your right knee. The key here is not the speed but how hard you squeeze the side of your abs every time you crunch up. This is perfect for shaping the waist, so let's keep it going. You guys are doing awesome. Rest a bit and let's move on to the next one. Four ways kick. Exercise. Stand 
stand and squat stance, so feet wider than shoulder width apart. Toes pointing out, hold your fist in front of your chest. And we'll shift our weight to our left leg and then crunch the abs as we kick the right leg up to the front. Leg back to the floor and kick to the right side as we squeeze and crunch the right side off the abs. We'll then shift our weight to the right leg and repeat the same by kicking the left leg up to the front and next to the left side. The harder you squeeze your abs and the harder you kick, the more we are burning the belly fat and sculpting the abs. Another one down. Fifth is side elbow touch knee. This time we'll first work on the right side. Starting position is same as the second exercise. Stand up tall with hands behind your head. But this time raise your right knee to the side as you bend your body also to the right to try touch your right elbow with right knee. You are squeezing your right obliques, the right side of the abs really hard. This is one rep. Repeat for 45 seconds. Keep breathing and crunching the abs. Let's go for the burn. Halfway done, only 5 more minutes to go. Next one, we're repeating the same exercise but on the left side. Exercise. Remember, we're not doing it as fast as possible. The most important here is to do it in a controlled manner to make sure we're feeling a burn on the side of the edge. Four to go. Seventh is toes touch. Exercise. Same starting position, hands behind your head. Crunch your abs as you raise your left leg to 90 degrees up and at the same time, release your right arm to tap your left toes with your right fingers. Try to keep both your arms and legs straight if you can with a slight bend in your knees. Alternate between sides for 45 seconds. Remember to keep breathing and work your core for every single rep. We're almost towards the end guys. Keep going, work those abs and keep burning. A side drop where we'll really work on the final slow burn of the upbeats. Again, same starting position, fingers laced behind your head. We'll do the right side first where we're standing up tall and then slowly curling the right side off the abs as we bend our body to the right. Then stand back up tall and this is one rep. As you can see here, I'm slowly dropping my body to the right, counting at least 2-3 to three seconds before I come back up, so that I'm really focused on using the side ab muscles and giving them a slow burn. Repeat on the side for 45 seconds. Alright guys, only 2 more minutes to go, we're not giving up. Let's finish it strong. Ninth is the same as the last one but we'll be doing the left side this time. Exercise. 
Remember to count two to three seconds as you bend your body to the left. Keep up with the burn. We're almost done with the workout. No quitting here. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Ninth done. Let's move on to the last exercise. High knees for an intense burn on not just the abs, but also a full body cardio to blast the fat. Exercise. With your elbows next to your body, palms facing down, hop up by crunching your abs and driving your right knee towards your palm and then quickly place it back onto the floor. Follow immediately by driving your left knee towards your palm. Continue to hop as quickly as you can. Remember, the faster you go, the harder you crunch your abs, the more calories you burn, and the more you burn your belly fat. We're almost there, guys. No stopping, keep hopping. If I can do this, you can do this too. Thank you for sticking it out and finishing this workout with me. We're not quitters. Amazing work, you guys. Tomorrow, you'll feel the burn even more and even on the day after. But for now, let's stretch it out a bit. If you want a more comprehensive stretch, you can also try my 10-minute stretch, which I'll link it up right here. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And remember to subscribe and turn on post notification by clicking the bell button next to it so you won't miss my new videos. And I'll see you again very soon.